involved. And see, let's see if the Eagles can get set up as Gaff plays it wide to Cripps, who's been one of their more dangerous forward half players in the past month or so, and he delivers to Kennedy. Had a knee injury during the game last week, but still managed to kick two goals. Around, he goes off the left foot, gets it all together, Josh Kennedy. He's a big game player. And straighten up, Young can use it well. And it's a bullet pass to the chest of Banfield. He looks like he's eager to play on. Not 15, he was trying to set up David Mundy. It doesn't matter anyway. If you're David Mundy, you can do anything. Inside the centre square, he is playing uh, in there at the moment. So Banfield's actually gone to Gaff on the wing as well. And he blast. Ryan didn't get access, but this man in the middle just stood where he usually stands. Delays the kick as long as possible, and that's why unexpectedly dropped by Mundy, but no sense of panic. Normally his delivery is something like that, and there he is again, Darcy. Darcy and Natanui both so good this season. A great battle. Frio have come to play. Here's Mundy. He'll get it through Switkowski. Trying to release Tucker. Brushes one off. Inside 50 to the square. And Tabata. He might do with a wobbly old one forward. Watson gets it under his command. And so Fremantle again can try and get the ball moving forward from Banfield. Mundy on his knees. Still effective to Pierce. And now the dash of Walker to half forward. Tabana presenting and turning. Belts it high and wide. Shepard in a tough mismatch against Tracy off the left. Wow. Mundy pitches it back here. And I don't know he had hold of the jumper, but the Dockers can escape. Sarong set up with a handball, but he just got through Redden and sends it long. And the mark taken by Tabana. Out wide, but... Croton's got it now, and he too paused until Schiltz was able to get there. Tabata was one out, long in the square. Kick's going to go in that direction now, and he's got it again. Just before quarter time, he bangs through another. What a start for Fremantle. Eight goals in the first quarter, and Tabata's got three. A little bit more physical on that day. But Fremantle are getting it done on the scoreboard as Tabata. Well, that's such a great first two. Three goals to his name already. He'll just pull the kick in short. Chera. Adam Chera. So much talk about where his future may lie. He's so effective while he's out there. He roosts that one from outside 50. They can do no wrong, Frio. A big goal to start the second term. And they continue on their way. Well, not with a kick like that. Oh, did the umpire see that? Bailey Banfield. Crowd saw it. <laughs> well, I probably stupidly put myself in this position a lot, this area. But, um, yeah, I mean, this was, this was the type of action that we got out of our game for a period of time. And this is what we don't want to see when a player is vulnerable in that position. And I'm by Redden. And now Petricelli. Dockers have got the numbers here, though, to win it back and go again with a long kick from Tucker to Schultz. Shuey out wide, a bit of a run-up for Cole. Into the pocket. Can they start to find a way back? Great contact, and the silence says it all. With this gap in percentage between Fremantle and West Coast to close, uh, yep. uh, the four points are the most valuable thing, and they need either Essendon or the Giants to lose next week. But percentage could mean that uh, they're not relying on West Coast Eagles next week against Brisbane. He has gone down to the change rooms clearly a minute to go in this second quarter, so taking no risk with him. Nasty one for Tim Kelly. <laughs> Loads it up, Wayne it's pushed on. Good work, Ray, but he didn't take it in the end. No front on contact. The Eagles wanted the free kick, but Walker just takes the footy and runs it out of there. Sends it to Croton. He's tackled strongly. Frio try to escape, but it'll only go as far as Dull. And West Coast have it back. Ryan's on long in the square. He's spotted, and he'll take it. And the hardest thing when pressure is lifted. Danger here, and as Young turns it over. Vardy read it so well, he'll get it across to Witherden. 
who can finish from long range. He's lethal with that boot. And West Coast are charging back. The need to be brave, but find balance within that. We'll try along. Barris! Oh. A big clunk from the defender. This is the Barras market. Got a nice lift over Tabana. He'll enjoy that against his opponent. And he'll just send a high one. Looking for another high fly, but darling, test of strength. And this shot earlier on in this tour. Here's the approach. The execution is perfect. And he drags the Eagles closer. Gaff makes shift kick. Kennedy's got to be the man. Pierce knew it too. Thumped to clear to Darcy. Time was on his side. All things considered, he chose Tabana. And now Switzkowski gives it back. Cullen is on the run. He's on the fly. He's steadied. And he makes absolute certainty of it. And sheer delight. Swift kicked the half back. She stood up, wanted to keep it moving. You could see the intent of the Eagles. Redden taking it out wide. Darling ready to duck back in immediately. Finally decides on Kennedy. Low. He left Ryan on his own. You can't do that. Well, you pay the price. Petricelli. Darling on the open side. Kennedy wanted it. They go to Darling. Well spotted. Kennedy will do the roving. And off the left. Snap it for another goal. There's just a kick in it in Derby 53. At the boundary line. Ultimately, it was very close, but didn't go over somehow. And it still stays in. They straddle the line. Chair edging it forward. Croden got through the tackle. Magically got it through to Sarong. He got down. He got up again. Oh! Stepping past one, Switkowski the entry, open goal square, Schultz loves his situation, he's just got to keep his feet, but the cavalry arrive for the Eagles, McGovern, Edwards, Schultz continue to go, Edwards trying to brush a couple off, he's gone! It'll go down in Derby folklore, the decimated Dockers wreak some Derby destruction to break the streak. And put a serious dent in the Eagles' final strings. A great day for David Mundy. It's the Dockers by 15.